get into our next intermediate level assignment here. We are going to be drawing our little green pepper again, but this time we're going to be doing shading with colored pencils. So we're going to really try to push that. Um, what you'll need today, you won't need these that much, it's just to help us start it out, but you'll need a pencil, whether it be mechanical or regular, and an eraser. But what you're really going to need today are colored pencils. It doesn't matter what kind, okay? But you want to try to get a black, a light green, grass green, apple green, just one of those colors, a regular green, and a yellow, okay? So those are going to be our main colors. Now, we're going to go ahead and pull up our little green pepper again, and we're going to sketch it out again. Okay, so let's start with that first. Let's go ahead and do like last time. Let's build up our shape. So you want to lightly do this, very lightly. Now I'm going to draw a little darker so that you can see it. But we're going to sketch out our basic shape of our pepper. Okay. And again, we'll make some adjustments to it, but we want to kind of start rounding down towards the bottom and now we have our basic outline shape so we're going to do like last time we're going to go ahead and build up this uh, bottom part down here so let's come down here to the bottom and let's lightly again we're not going to draw it dark but we're going to lightly sketch out our first little curved in shape here. So we're going to kind of curve in, bring it out, and curve down. So again, this is where we're going to start making some of our adjustments. So I'm going to make another bump and have it come out about here. I'm going to have another bump comes out right next to it. Okay. And we're going to bring it in some and then curve down. As we curve inwards, it's going to be our bottom. So now we can clean up this line here because we don't need it anymore. Doesn't matter which eraser you use. I just think the bigger ones clean it up a little bit better. Okay. So we want to come back out here to the bottom. We're going to curve it up to really get that separation here. Okay. I can erase out a little area down there at the bottom. And we're going to curve out from this side. Let's go ahead and start up here at the top to kind of meet it. So we're going to kind of curve out and start working our way down. Okay, and we got a, another slight bump out here. The top and that curves in here. Another bump. Now we can't see this middle part because of the stem, but we're going to draw it anyway just for placement. Okay, and then we got our larger bump back over here. Okay, so I'm going to clean that area up. Make sure everything's touching. Clean up that side and then come down here and clean up this outside edge. Alright, so that's our basic pepper shape. Now, we're going to get our stem. Remember, we made it kind of short last time, so we're going to make sure we make it long enough. And then I'm going to come to this side, 
do the same thing. And we're just going to kind of round it off at the top up there. So let's clean out the center. Okay. So the reason why we're sketching lightly is because this time we're working with colors. So we don't want too much pencil mark on our paper. So the first thing I want to do is get you to understand that we can't just mix whatever, right? So if I just come in here and draw yellow, and then I come down here to the bottom and I go over it in green, it kind of overtakes it. So you kind of have to go back and forth with this. So let's do like we did with our uh, pencil before. Let's get some of these darker areas. So we're just going to go over our line work with the green here make that a nice solid but thin green line it's going to come in there okay and do the same thing over the whole pepper and again this is an intermediate level so we're going to pull out some details but we're not going to go crazy crazy with it okay I'm going to go around and continue trace out with this green and I'm using the regular green by the way sorry I forgot to mention that but it's the regular green okay so I'm just kind of going over my line with the green all the way around it and you will see why we're doing this in a minute because I want you to be able to still see this after I get rid of the line work with my eraser okay this colored pencil is not known for erasing very well unless you have the erasable colored pencil but even that still takes some effort so I'm just getting my shape in now for my stem up here I'm going to kind of use the grass green or apple green or just the lighter green color and I'm going to trace over that since our pepper stem is lighter okay so now that I have that I can take my eraser all right and I can lightly kind of go over it clean up a lot of that pencil work. Now it will fade some of your green and that's okay because we're just going to go back over and shade it anyway. Okay, So I'm just really cleaning up the pencil line work. So now that I just have my basic outline of my pepper. Okay, so I'm going to switch back to my green. first thing I want to do is kind of re-hit up those areas that faded a little bit. Okay, so yours may be different, so again, pause the video if you need to, if you have to hit up more spots. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to switch to my yellow. So we look at our pepper here. We have <clears throat> very light green, like a green-yellow in certain areas. So what I'm going to do I'm going to come through those areas and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color in some yellow. Now you don't have to press down hard but you want to get some of it to show up. Okay so I'm just coming across this midsection. I'm going to switch to this side of the line and we're going to go a little bit bigger this time. We're going to stretch it down going to keep working it over. If you notice, I'm changing the shape size and the way it looks is I'm squinting at the picture, looking at that light green area and trying to get that to stand out. Okay. Now this area has got a little bit more of the dark green, but we'll go over that anyway. 
So we're going to kind of come up and we're going to really thin out through here. Work our way up towards that highlight area. Okay. I'm going to come back over here and work my way across this bottom area. Okay. Now I want to come up through my stem. Most of it, I'm going to kind of leave the middle alone a little bit. So most of it's out here on the edge with it. Okay. And we're not done with this yellow, but we're going to be done with it for now. Okay. So I'm going to switch back to my <clears throat> light green. So your grass green, your apple green, whatever. We're going to come in here and we're going to lightly color in here over the top. Okay. Now the difference with colored pencil is we can't really come in here and smooth that stuff out. But notice how when I go over the yellow, it starts to change to kind of a yellow green and that's fine what we want. Okay, but we really want to push this light color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and draw this shape for the highlight so that I know I don't want to color that in. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and draw all that. I'm just going to draw on these little highlight shapes in here. I know up here this top edge, we have a highlight. Okay. I also know over here on this end, I have this rectangular highlight. Okay, I have a small highlight that comes off right here. I also have a circular highlight here, so kind of like we did last time. So we have a highlight up here towards this top edge. Okay, I have another one towards this top edge up here. We also have a highlighted area down in here. So we have that drawn in. We have a small highlight here. And we have a little bit of a highlight. This little triangle shape is, okay? So, now that I've done that, I can come back in here and start lightly going around those highlights. Try not to go inside of it. And we're going to fill that in. not touching the highlights, so I'm coming above to this area. I'm going to fill that in. Go ahead and hit up these high spots first. And again, this is our highlight down here, so I'm going to stay up in this area. And go ahead and fill that in. of this stem lightly, coloring over that yellow. Again, we're not really filling it in, in solid right now. So you really have to kind of play around and practice with these colors to really get it to work. Like I may even mess up a little bit, but it's okay. Again, this is the intermediate. We're just kind of taking a step above beginner level. So now I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do the same thing over the top of this yellow going around the highlights. And just filling the whole thing in. Now if you notice, I'm not pressing down super hard. You really don't have to at this point in time to help you save in having to sharpen your colored pencils. So I'm just really going over with that light green and just filling it in. I 
did kind of forget about our little highlight that runs across the top, but that's fine. It's not going to ruin the picture or anything. And remember, I'm trying to keep these simple with simple supplies that you can buy in a foyer. You know, we're not going to do anything crazy like you see in some videos where they paint white back over to kind of help add that shine to it. We're not going to do all that. We're just going to use a natural white from the paper. Again, just try not to go over your highlights. Try to remember where they're at. So like we have that one on the top here and we don't want to touch. The one in the corner. And just really fill that in with a light coloring. And that should do it that first coat. So I'm going to switch back again to my regular green. Okay, so it'll be your darkest green. All right, and we're going to start hitting up these areas that have our darkest colors. So I'm going to really start bringing this out. Again, do not touch your highlights. You want to go around it. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure. I'm not trying to like darken it out too much. But I'm going to stretch this down into those areas that are really green in this pepper. Okay, so I'm just going to fill it in. So think of this like our first base coat. We've already primed it. You want to try to fill in some of that white graininess. So I'm extending it down, coming over with it, and working my way back up. Like I said, you want to try to fill in all that graininess you can, depending on what kind of surface you're drawing on, though, that can kind of make it next to impossible, so you're not trying to, like, grind down your colored pencil or anything. Okay, so I'm really filling that in. Now, that line that we had up there, I am going to go back over and darken that so it stands out some. And just like we did with shading with a pencil, I'm going to build my way outward and slightly pick up my pencil as I come out so that it is not a complete dark color all the way down. So as I work my way down to this area, I'm going to really like pick my pencil up lighter and just try to fill in those white specks in there. Trying to make it as solid as possible without having to go too dark. So, we have that on that part. We also have that up here is where it's dark. So again, we don't want to touch that highlight up here. So we can kind of darken that line up around it and come down this way as well. And I'm just really starting to push the darker greens. out this way more. So again, I'm working around that highlight. Okay. Now, this does extend out a little bit, but we want to go lighter, so don't press down so hard. And we want to keep it close to this line here and bring it down. Now remember, if you need to pause the video so you can catch up, that is fine. So nothing wrong with that. You work at your own pace. Okay? So we're going to continue our way down. As we get towards the bottom down here, 
it a little bit more of that dark green. So we're going to add a little bit more pressure. Okay, and I'm going to really hit up this edge, darken that. And I'm going to kind of lightly push a little higher on this side just to kind of round it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to fill that in, try to get it as much of that white speck as I can without pressing down hard. So we want it to be a little bit lighter. Okay. So I'm just filling that in nice. And I'm going to come up here. I'm going to lightly color in this area. Push it down just a little bit more. leave that like that. I'm going to switch over to this other side. Again, I'm not going to color in my highlight, but I am going to push this down just a little bit. Kind of give us an illusion of an edge here. So I'm not darkening that too much. I'm just pressing it lightly. Okay. Now, we're going to switch over to this other side, which is dark up here. Again, avoid your highlight. To kind of darken up the edge of that highlight and go around it. Okay, and I can start shading that in. So you really have to kind of look and like study the object you're trying to draw with this, especially with colored pencils, it's really challenging. So you really want to kind of look at it and see how much of it has darkness to it. So like this kind of pushes down into here but lightly so I'm not pressing down hard. I'm just really trying to fill in those white specks in there. Okay. And over here on this side we have a slight bit of darkness over here, but we got way more of a highlight or that lighter yellow green or uh, that apple green color. So we're going to leave that like that. Now this whole back region back here is a dark. So we can really push that a little bit and darken that up. So this is getting a lot of shadow back here, so I can really darken up that edge. Just fill in the rest. Okay, leaving that highlight alone, so I'm going to come around it like that. Again, we have a small highlight here. Again, this has a much darker tone to it. It's not completely hard pressed, but we're going to come around. fill that in as much as we can. Again, we're not going super, super dark in this middle area. I'm just kind of going over, filling in that white. Okay. So now that we have that color, if you look closely in this area, we have kind of a mix of that apple green and the dark. So we're just going to kind of color out this rectangular shape with that dark green, kind of skip around it curve it down into the pepper this way. Okay. So again, we want to leave this highlight alone. Let me just fill in the rest of it. All right. Now we have our little bit of a dark green on our stem here. So we're going to light darken that up. I'm going to come in here and really take our time looking at that dark patchy area. And bring that up into the stem. Okay. Then I want to come down here to the bottom 
darken up bottom region down there. Okay. And then we're going to switch to our grass grain or light grain, whatever lighter form of grain you have. Okay. Now we're going to go over this. We're going to put a little bit more pressure on it. Okay. We're really going to try to fill that in tell there is a color difference that's why we chose a different color so we're really going to push that in now as I work my way towards the edge I'm going to go lighter to leave some of that yellow tint in there and I'm going to come back over these areas and really kind of fill them in okay now I'm going to carry that down into my dark green blend that in, kind of smooth the edges together, okay, so we're just filling it in, I'm going to do that up towards the top, what that does is it kind of bleeds in, see how it's kind of like transitioning with itself, to help give it a nice smoother tone to it, okay, really just using that to kind of smooth out that area okay so we're going to continue that same process over here a little bit on the lighter side so we're going to start darker on this side here and slowly blend our way over remember to leave that highlight alone and again as you get closer to the edge make it a little bit lighter not quite as dark as this area over here. So this area around this dark green we can smooth in. And then as you get back over this free yellow area you want to just kind of lightly blend it and smooth it out. Okay. really trying to blend in these colors together so it's more of a smooth edge to it. So I'm not pressing down hard, I'm just putting a little pressure and really smoothing it out. So I'm going to go over this dark area, smooth and blend that out, fill in those white gaps as much as possible. It doesn't have to be perfect and it's not going to be. Just kind of go over everything with that light green tone. Really help smooth it out. Okay. So we're going to come down in here. Push this out. And blend our way over to this side. Now I may need to take a small break just so that I can sharpen my pencil. But we'll see how far it goes. Okay, so let's push down into this area, really smooth that out, work our way down, into here. this outside edge. Again, just kind of put a little pressure and just smooth it in. Avoid your highlights. So make sure you go around those. Okay. So you can see how it's kind of, it, it's really pushing that realism a little bit, right? And that's what we're going for. Now I'm going to come down here into this area. I'm going to put a lot more pressure down here on the bottom. And then I'm going to go around my highlight on the top up here. I'm going to smooth that out. Come in here, do a pass over these dark regions. 
again, avoiding my highlights. And then we're going to do a pass up here on our stem. Okay. So I am not putting a whole lot of pressure. I am just trying to smooth it out. Now traditionally you could use a white to help you blend, but I think it lightens it too much and then you have to kind of go back over everything. It's kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. Okay. So that takes care of that for now. Let's take our yellow again. And I want to come back in and kind of highlight this stem up a little bit more. So I'm going to come back over it. I'm not putting too much pressure, but just these really like far edge areas. I'm going to yellow them up. And down here on the edge. And up and around. Okay. I'm going to come back with my yellow in here try to highlight these areas a little bit more just so they brighten up. And it won't be a huge difference, but it'll make all the difference in the world when you're done. Okay. So now that I have that, now that I have that, we need to do this ground shadow for this pepper. Okay. So traditionally we don't want to normally use black, but we can use it um, when we're trying to finalize. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with this dark green and I'm going to really lightly sketch me a pepper shape. Those kind of bumps around the edge. So I'm going to go ahead and just switch to my grass green. Let's do that. Let's fill that in nice and light. Okay, and again, pause the video if you need to. We're going to lightly fill that in. Now the reason why we're using this green is much like with the other video I was just showing you guys how to shade, things are reflective so light actually bounces right back off onto the ground so you should see a little bit of green in the shadow of something unless it's just a hard light setting but in a natural light setting you should be able to see. Okay, So now that we're down here at the bottom I'm going to really darken this area. darken that up and then I'm going to slowly push out my shadow so I'm just smoothing it and blending it so I'm going lighter and lighter as I work my way out Notice I'm not like doing the complete smooth like we did on here, and we're going to go back over with that light green again. Okay, now I'm going to leave some of this edge area a little bit light because I want to kind of hit it up with that yellow a little bit to really get that reflectiveness in there. Yep. So I'm just going to keep filling in this region down here. Okay. So now that we have that, we can take our light green again, or our grass green, and we can go back over and smooth everything out. Okay. So I'm going to put some pressure in there, and I'm going to really shade it. Smooth out those areas. Blend the two colors together. up this outside area. Make sure I smooth along the edge where it's darker. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my yellow. Okay, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit up these edges out here. Really go over that. 
put some pressure on that. Okay. I can kind of blend back lightly into it to kind of soften it a tad. And you might be wondering, well, you said I needed a black. So what am I using the black for? Well, that's where we're going to come in and kind of touch up some areas with our black. Okay? Mainly on this shadow down here. Okay? So, I'm going to come down this bottom area. I'm going to lightly, I am barely, and I mean barely, putting pressure on this colored pencil to get the black to show up. I'm lightly touching the paper. You can see how dark that's getting, and that's fine. That's why traditionally we try not to use black, but I'm going to show you a little trick to kind of bring it back to that more au naturel color. Okay, so we're just going to kind of lightly, notice how I'm not like trying to fill it in completely. What it'll do is kind of help it become more shadow-like. So I'm going to really, really lightly touch up this edge area over here. Okay. I'm going to come to these areas where I have my line closest, and I'm going to lightly some black down here at the bottom. And lightly means light, not heavy. Okay. I'm going to do a tad on the edge over here. Then I'm going to switch back to my regular green. And I'm going to blend that in and push it out. I'm blending it, going over it, making sure it turns back to a greener tint. I'm going to push that out, all right? Just a little. Same thing down here. I'm going to push it out just a little bit. Just really make sure I go back over that green. Making that black turn back to a kind of green tone. I'm going to push it on this bottom really blend it in there. Spin it around. And I'll mush it back into the paper. Okay. Now if you're using like printer paper or something like that right now, I would be very careful with how hard you push because eventually you will wear and tear a hole through your paper. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my grass green again. I'm gonna hit up these areas again and smooth them back out. that dark green too. Really try and push and blend those colors together. Same thing down here at the bottom. Go over all that black and green. Really push that. Okay. And once you are done Take your yellow one last time. Kind of lighten up this area in here to push that darkness back a little bit more. Okay. And then you have successfully shaded a realistic looking pepper with colored pencils fancy tricks, none of that, no pencil, all straight colors, okay? So what I would say is find you some pictures of something else, just like we did last time. You can pull up the same videos you did before of uh, whatever you practiced on with pencil, and just try to do it in color, okay? So I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed and you're proud of yourself. Please do the homework over the next few days and practice on other vegetables and fruits. And until then, I'll see you in the next one, and keep sketching.